This wiener is huge. Oh my god, babe, look, it's giant. How big do you think that is? Oh my god. Can we... Can we go outside? How big is yours? Oh my god. What? It's tiny. What? Well, guys, I have a feeling I'm going to regret this video. Today, we are revisiting a channel that is requested so frequently that I feel like I am sort of obligated at this point to take a second look. I'm a man of the people. For the last two months, I would say, I have been getting a pretty significant amount of requests to check out a channel on YouTube called Tomorrow's Teachings. Now, those who've been sticking with me for a while now would know that sometime last year, I did. I've talked about this channel before, and uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but a lot happens in a year. You know, people forget, new people find the channel, and you know what? People change. So maybe, in the time that it's been since I have last looked at this channel, it's gotten better. If you did not watch that video, if you're not familiar with Tomorrow's Teachings, basically, it's a Darman-esque channel where they make sort of life lesson kind of videos, except uh, they're they're not quite the same as Darman. For example, uh, the video that I covered a year or so ago was about a little girl who was getting beat by her babysitter, so she wished that she could turn into a chicken. She did. Her dad, or her babysitter, I can't remember, assumed that she was an escaped chicken from their chicken coop, so she was put back in, and uh, one of the roosters did did some stuff to her. Then she was stolen for cockfights. She made it back home, got turned back into a human, and then, you know, started to lay eggs. So, you know, not exactly the ordinary Darman kind of lineup. It's a little unorthodox. But like I said, I wasn't a very big fan of that video. They've deleted it since then, but they had an actual child playing this role. Like a 10 or 11 year old girl playing a role where the entire joke of the video was her character being, you know, by an adult male chicken. I can't say the word or YouTube's gonna demonetize this video, but you know what I mean. So not exactly my kind of humor, but I get so many requests to check out this channel that we're gonna give it one more shot. Now I've decided that I'm gonna go in blind because I figured that I can probably pick anything uploaded by this channel and it's gonna have the desired effect. So we're gonna go with one I've gotten many requests for and also their most viewed video of the last couple of months. White kid shamed for his small wiener. You won't believe it. And you know what tomorrow's teachings? I'm gonna go ahead and concede that you are probably right. I feel like I'm not gonna believe what happens during this video. Looking forward to it. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Oh my god. Is that I show speed? This wiener's huge. Oh my god, babe, look, it's giant. How big do you think that is? I don't know. It's probably fake. No, that's real. Oh my god. Can we... Can we go outside? My god, somebody get this kid on the big screen. That is nothing but the face and the voice of a man whose girlfriend is currently fawning over another man's wiener. This is better acting than anything I've ever seen in a Darman video, and we're hardly 30 seconds in. How big do you think that is? How big is yours? Go grab a ruler, I want to measure. I, I don't want to. Can you go grab a ruler? Drop him. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What? It's tiny. What? Oh, come on. You caught the man off guard. Nobody would be showing their best in a situation like this. Come on. If you're going to do a test, at least have it be fair. I demand a recount. It's like... It's like two inches. What? That's normal. Are all white guys wieners this small or is it just you? Whoa, whoa, hold on there for a moment. I think we might be jumping the gun just a little bit by calling two inches small. I mean, I think for most people that might even be too much. I mean, that that's what a dork like this would say, right guys? Or do you agree with that sentiment? I don't know, let me know. Me? What's your name, boy? Jacob. Jacob, are you here for the right sport? You do know in basketball, the ball is supposed to go in the basket. 
cheerleading tryouts are just outside. My man, you've got two other people trying out for the basketball team, and there does not seem to be a pre-existing team already. I think you're gonna have to take whatever you can get, man. I think that's my favorite thing across all of these life lesson channels. They never bother to hire any extras to make the scene make any sense whatsoever. Girls have fun out there? <laughs> man, when I was draining these threes, these niggas were painting their toes. Shut up, Dominic. I know that ain't come out of your mouth. Shit, if you trying to throw down, we could throw down, Casper. Nah, that ain't fair. Come on, look at the kid. He's white. He got no hands whatsoever. No way he can't fight. Shit, he can't even make a layup out there. You see the way he jumped? Boy was like, what? <laughs> like, what was that? <laughs> you know what they say, white man can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, isn't this the coach? Is this the world's laziest costume change? They were just like, we'll throw his hat on backwards and nobody's gonna question it. Or is the basketball coach just berating this kid for being white? I don't know what would be funnier. Hey, Jacob, I'll catch you later. Goofy white boy! We should cut him some slap. <laughs> I already clapped his girl. What? Man, she didn't tell you? That's tough, man. Bro. I was hitting it from every position in the book. I had her hypnotized. I had her squirming and everything. She was screaming my name, Miles, Miles, Miles. Okay, I think it is safe to say that my previous question is a little bit more important now. Is this supposed to be the coach or is this meant to be another student? Is this coach just walking around berating and bullying students while simultaneously preying on the student body? Actually, you know what? I don't really know why I'm asking myself this. Given what I know about this channel, what I've seen from it already, I'd bet a thousand dollars that this is the coach. It's gotta be. Do the shit again, boy. I dare you. Allie loved me. She took this D like a champ. She was sick and tired of your little shrimp. You know what they say. Once you go black, you never go back. Yo, he really got a small wiener? Of course he does. He's white. All white guys got small meats. I'm kind of curious. Let me see how small it is. Drop your pants. What? No. I said drop your pants. I want to see how small it is. Well, leave me alone. Someone help me. Help. Hey, dog. Stop yapping and show us your meat or I'm going to crash out. Okay, I think we're I think we're going to pause right there for a moment. Look, I can appreciate that this is a stupid fucking video, okay? I highly doubt the creator of this means any real harm by it. I think they're just trying to be edgy to be edgy. However, there seems to be a trend on this channel of making the punchline haha -ha, sex crimes. Now, I've got to imagine most of the people watching this channel are pretty young, might be too young to understand the implications of a video like this, but the person making all of these has got to be an adult. You can't organize all of this as a kid. For a grown adult to think that, like, sex crimes as a punchline is funny, I don't know. That's kind of weird to me. I recently rewatched the movie Get Hard, and I remember watching that movie when I was younger and thinking nothing about it, and upon rewatching it, I was like, oh, okay. They made an entire movie where the joke is that Will Ferrell is gonna be forcefully sodomized. Like, you would never make that movie about a woman. Tomorrow's Tuesday teachings would, and they'd do it with children and chickens. This is kind of going on a tangent, but I've seen recently a sort of rise in this, like, push for men's mental health among younger guys. And that's great and all, don't get me wrong, but I feel like a lot of the times it's done in kind of an ingenuine way. And stuff like this is completely overlooked. Look, you can call me a pussy, you can call me a snowflake, I really don't give a shit. Having a video where one of the jokes is a high school kid getting held at gunpoint to show a bunch of guys his penis, yeah, that's not very funny and it's also extremely fucking weird for an adult to come up with. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll show you the meat. <laughs> That's the smallest wiener I've ever seen, bro. Yo, it looks like a peanut. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. I would kill myself if I were you. You ain't getting no girls with that tap pool. Upon Jacob's return home, he quickly discovered that Coach Miles had shared the photos of Jacob's small vena throughout the school, leaving Jacob devastated. 
Now everyone is aware of his small meat. Again, I really wish I could just kind of have a laid back, relaxed video and not go on a rant. But unfortunately, I'm an adult with a developed brain. I know, real big fucking bummer. Like, what is this, guys? Come on. I mean, what's the joke here? A kid getting a picture of his dick sent around the school by a coach? Hilarious, I guess. Is that the intended reaction? There is a difference between good, dark humor and just joking about gross shit for a reaction. This is the latter. Meanwhile, Jacob receives another blow when his mom calls him with devastating news. His sister has been kidnapped by an unknown assailant. The news is heart-wrenching. And they fear the worst. That she may be dead. Um, what? Where is this video going? I mean, this video only has like three minutes left. Is this just dropped in for shock value or are we completely changing the course here? Because I feel like we can't have a resolution to both of these problems in three minutes. Dear mom and dad, I'm writing this because I can't bear the weight of my shame and sadness any longer. Are you fucking serious right now? I mean, come on, guys, really? Wait, maybe I'm just not getting the joke here. Let me just try and make sure I'm following this correctly. So the joke is that his life was ruined after he was sexually exploited by his basketball coach, and it's gotten so bad that he doesn't want to live anymore. Yeah, no, that's just not funny. I'm sorry. I'm not a person who thinks that certain things should be off limits when it comes to humor. I think there are ways you can joke about just about anything. Keyword just about, but this is not how you do it. Jacob? Are you here to beat me up or something? Because you don't need to. I'm killing myself. Jacob, get down from there. Leave me alone. Get off me. What are you doing? What does it look like? You made my life hell. I'm ending it. No, you can't do that. Jacob, I'm sorry. I didn't know I affected you this much. You made fun of me for having a small wiener. And then you guys showed the whole school. <sighs> I don't know what I was thinking. This is all my fault. Do I look like a fool to you tomorrow's teachings? Do you really expect me to believe that the basketball coach, who not only physically assaulted one of his students, but also sent a picture of that student's wiener to the entire student body, had a sudden change of heart? He's completely revamped his character. Do you think I fell off the turnip truck yesterday? I'm not buying it. I should be the one jumping off of a bridge. Of course not. Yeah, I made fun of you for something you can't control. That's horrible, man. I'm sorry. Look, can I be honest with you? Yeah. Me and Allie only went on a date just one time, and we didn't even do anything. Are we really not going to address during this entire video that once again, this guy is a part of the faculty at this school, and he's not only done what he did to this guy, but he's also admitted to dating a student? What fucking school district is this? You know, I only said all that to be cool. And reality is, I have a small wiener too. Really? Yeah. I'm insecure and I lash out on students like you. I didn't know the damage I could do. I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Really? Yeah, man. Everyone deserves a second chance. Yeah, everybody except people like this guy, actually. Second chances are great. They're phenomenal. Great concept. Not for people who take pictures of students' wieners. No, that's, that's not a second chance thing. I'm sorry. Hey, everyone. This is Miles Morals, the basketball coach from Twin Peaks High School. And I just want to let everybody know I have a small wiener, too and I'm proud of it. See, who cares? So what if we have small wieners? We should be thankful for the body that God gave us. You're right. Small wiener gang. You know what? Honestly, this is getting significantly worse. The implications of a coach doing something like this and then having a conversation like this with a student, that's far, far worse than just taking the picture. We are watching somebody get groomed. Miles? Jacob? What are you guys doing here? None of your business. Why don't you just get lost? Sorry, what did you say to me, shrimp? You gonna do anything about this? <laughs> hmm. 
Okay. I I wasn't expecting that. I'm not gonna lie. That produced a small giggle. This guy is really just checking off all the boxes, huh? Is he doing like a criminal speed run or something? Trying to commit all of the worst felonies in the shortest time possible? He's making great time, that's for sure. Well, I guess we won't be seeing her again. What the fuck? did I just watch? So I was right about the grooming. Okay, that's cool. Well, no, that's that's not cool, but you know what I mean. Hmm, okay, yeah, well, just as bad as I remember. Well, guys, what do you think? I will say one positive thing about this channel, even though it's not really a positive thing to say. Through being just so unbelievably insensitive, these videos generate more meaningful discussion than a Darman video ever would. I guess that's something worthwhile, I don't know. Does it necessarily outweigh the negatives? No, not even sort of, but it is something to think about. With that being said though, I, uh, I think this is the last time I will ever talk about this channel. Not exactly something I want to keep promoting. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. <laughs>